Yet another trash-picked portable power pack. I love to get these yellow Harbor Freight units because they're far better than most in my opinion. So why do people throw them out? Here are the top five reasons. The jump start doesn't work anymore. The battery won't charge or won't hold a charge. All batteries die eventually. Replace it with a 6FM18, 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. The dimensions are 7.13 inches by 3.01 inches by 6.57 inches. The terminal is nut and bolt. And the 5-in-1 power pack will be good as new. Alternately, you can upgrade to a 12-volt, 20-amp-hour battery having the same physical dimensions, and the 5-in-1 will be better than new. One thing that may not be obvious, replacement batteries are not all the same. Check the weights before ordering. Heavier batteries contain more lead, produce more amp-hours, and generally last longer between charges. For step-by-step -step replacement instructions, watch this great Musty One video. Symptom 2. Battery check function doesn't work or is intermittent. Touchy. Intermittent. This is generally caused by open or high resistance contacts on the push button switch. Replace it with a 6 by 6 by 7 millimeter 4 pin through hole tactile switch like the one shown here and battery check will work good as new. Note that 7 millimeter refers to the total height of the switch assembly. The base is 3 millimeter. The plunger height is 4 millimeter. That's the OEM size. Symptom 3. The LED work light doesn't turn on or is intermittent. This is caused by high resistance contacts on the rocker switch. Replace it with a 21 by 15 by 20.5 millimeter single pole, single throw rocker switch like the one shown here and the light will work like new again. Symptom 4. The air compressor doesn't turn on or is intermittent. Sticky. This is also caused by open or high resistance contacts on the rocker switch. And it should be noted that double pole, double throw rocker switches, and slightly smaller 20 by 15 by 20.5 millimeter rocker switches also fit into this power pack. Symptom 5. The 120 volt, 400 watt inverter doesn't work anymore. Now, th this is for the 120 volt inverter. Well, it could be the rocker switch, but I've also seen failed capacitors at board references C8 and C8B. Replace them both with 105 degree, 2200 microfarad, 25 volt radial electrolytic capacitors. No taller than 25 millimeter, lead spacing as close as possible to 6 millimeter, and the inverter should work better than ever. The two green color 105 degree, 2200 microfarad, 25 volt replacement caps shown here are taller than the originals and have slightly wider lead spacing. They're what I had. Note that they do fit in the space provided. You can also use a 105 degree 2200 microfarad 35 volt replacement caps provided they also fit. So let's add this up. 
One new battery, $50. Pack of new tactile switches, 20 pieces, $2.59. Pack of new rocker switches, 5 pieces, $1.57. Two new 105 degree, 2200 microfarad, 25 volt capacitors, $4.65. Grand total, approximately $60. A new portable power pack typically costs $130. Compared to that, spending $60 on a complete rebuild is less than half the price. Plus, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that you did it yourself. Can't ever put a price on that. Good luck. Thanks for watching.